Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showcasing you my non-destructive landscape brush pack for the Unreal Engine. With this you can create landscapes like this in a few minutes, just dropping around these brushes and moving them and scaling them. Okay, so first thing, you need to make sure that you enable the Landmass plugin. Search for Landmass, click Enabled, it's going to tell you to restart the engine. And then you can go ahead and create a landscape. And then there you have to make sure to enable edit layers. So click the stick box. I'm going to go for a resolution of 1000 and create. Okay, now we have to make sure that we select the sculpt mode and the blueprint brushes. We have three types of brushes, peaks, slope details and valleys. I'm going to go ahead and select the peak. Drop in, for example, peak 46. And it's going to take a while to load in the details. There you go. And we can scale our brush and move it and rotate it. And there are a few settings as well in the material setting here, uh, which you can change, which can affect the brush here. For example, if I want to remove these small details outside of the brush, um, we can adjust the fall of radius, put it to something like 0.5, and you can see the mountain gets a bit smaller on the edges, and these details get less strong. And we're gonna move it somewhere like here. Yeah, I like it here. And we can go and put some more brushes in. The peak 47. Change its height. Make it a bit smaller. And there's also the blending mode, which you can set to maximum. In this case, it's very useful. And it's not going to add the height map to the other one, but it's just going to blend it with the maximum value, as you can see here. It's quite useful for blending multiple mountains together. And uh, so let's show you the other types of brushes. There's valleys which cut into to the terrain. For example, if we select valley 32, drop it in. And have it load. There you go. Change the scale, maybe make it a bit bigger and a bit deeper. We can add another valley. and unite these by, by lining them up correctly. Usually they blend quite well. Change the scale as well. There you go. Now, the next type of brush is the slope detail. Basically it's useful for adding some details to flat areas or areas which look a bit boring they have a very rock type of look to them most of them so we drop them in usually they're a bit too big we scale them down oh there you go maybe make it a bit more intensive And I want to show you how to create your custom brushes as well using this brushes. You can go ahead and duplicate. I'm going to rename it to custom brush. And for this, I'm going to create an alpha texture inside of Gaia. Okay, so I created this quick mountain in Gaia and I'm just going to export it. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop this alpha texture into Unreal Engine. Go back to my custom brush, double click, and under the material setting, under height map, we choose a custom brush. We save and we compile. Now we can go ahead and drop our custom brush in and see what it looks like. Let's change the scale, make it a bit smaller, a bit taller. And we can change these material settings a bit as well. For example, if you want to create a valley, we use the invert mode. For slope details, uh, you can use the surface mode, which adds and subtract, subtracts at the same time. For this, I'm going to change the profile a bit to a higher value. The profile basically fattens the terrain or slims it down. I can show you this by choosing higher, lower values. It's going to make the brush more fat. Higher values are going to slim it down. For this, a quite high value looks good. There's also the cutoff, which basically cuts the terrain at a certain height. If we choose 0.5, it creates this plateau, it can be quite useful, but I'm leaving it at one. Um, maybe we duplicate this brush, rotate it around. Okay, next thing I want to show you how to change the scale of your landscape. For this, you select your landscape and you put another value and go with 200. And now you can see the problem is that the location of the brushes is not synced anymore. For this, you have to select all your brushes to fix it. Select all your brushes. And under material settings and the landscape scale, we put in our new value. And you can see our brushes updated to our correct location but i'm gonna reverse this to show you another thing okay so i want to show you how to change the resolution of your terrain for example let's say we worked on uh, 1000 resolution right now but we want more details we can select our terrain and then manage we change component size I'm gonna go with a resolution of 4000 which is um, the maximum i would say for using this tool at higher resolutions uh, it can create some problems so we click on apply and you can see now our brushes they stopped working to get them working again we select our landmass brush manager and under landscape resolution we put in our new resolution in the uh, power of two so 4096 and now to update our brushes again we have to move them or update them quickly update them once and there you go that's our landscape at a much higher resolution of 4000 so we get much more details now at this resolution moving our brushes is gonna be quite heavy on performance and a bit more difficult to do so it's usually good to work at a lower res resolution all right that's pretty much it for this video i hope you liked it and if you buy this brush pack and you have some problems feel free to leave a comment and see you next time bye bye